Hello lovelies, welcome back to another episode of Arcane. I am C and I saw in episode three that somebody asked how I knew um, Silco's name before they said it. It's just because I I have subtitles. <laughs> it gave it tells you who's talking is and he was doing that voiceover and it said Silco. So I knew his name was Silco. That's it. <laughs> Uh, so let's just get straight into episode five. Who is this? Is this Kate? When she was a kid? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so then who's that? Was it her against Jace, or is this a new character we've never seen? Oh. Okay, so there is a bit of a um, mentor mentee relationship going on there. Mm -hmm. No, your parents didn't pay. I just thought you deserved it. I'm an enforcer. For me, knowing how to handle this weapon means being able to protect people. To be of service to the city. And that's trophy enough. Begs the question, young Kerman. What are you shooting for? Wow. She was a good woman. It's sad how she died. I was so excited to see Vi, and then I remember, like, it's been how many years she's not the same person. My sunny personality. You attacked an inmate. Why? Why not? He was a witness in an ongoing investigation. Mm. Bummer. This was a waste of time. I wonder if Marcus made her do it. Hey, give Silco a kiss on that winning eye of his, will you? Silco, the industrialist. Okay, this is getting old. Can you just send in whoever's gonna kick the shit out of me so I can get on with my night? Whoa, what? Okay, definitely something going on with Marcus and Silco, and they're taking it out on Vi every once in a while if she acts out. Oh. Where did you get this? She my immediately knew it was powder. You work for Silco? Uh, they all or do. Jenks okay, now. <laughs> Where did you find this? There was an attack. This is evidence. I need proof if I'm to believe what you're saying about Silco. I could get it for you. Just not from in here. <laughs> in what mad world would I trust someone like you? Someone like me? You enforcers are all the same. Just asshole criminals in fancy uniforms. You know what? Find Silco yourself. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Under said he's gonna eat you alive. <laughs> I've got orders from Councillor Tallis concerning inmate 516. <laughs> Not cooperative, huh? You, uh, you want us to have a chat with her? Damn. No. They really no. do just be high. It's for her release. Huh. Since when's he a counselor? Since today. <laughs> she didn't take any time asking Jace for a favor. How many chats have you had with her? You know never even thought to count yeah i'm sure they weren't chats that didn't involve her getting hit see i mean i don't know what to expect i didn't expect jinx to come from powder so i don't know what's gonna happen with vi can't make this go away for you unless you give me something to work with arresting her would be doing you a favor <laughs> I don't no. know. Yeah, he doesn't want her arrested. I need you to do your job. The firelights have been a thorn in both our sides. They ambushed my shipment at the hex gates on the same day as the attack. It seems to me the council has its culprit. Well, that's tidy for you. What if I'm not interested in playing along? I mean, you've been doing it for how many years now? We've accomplished a lot together, Marcus. Sheriff. 
and there is more yet to achieve. I hope you can remain a part of that. That was a threat. <laughs> Take it as a threat. The manifests are full of discrepancies dating back months. This is a poor use of our time. I'm a counselor now, Victor. It's my responsibility to make sure the hex gates are safe and protected. And what about our pledge to improve lives? For those in need. For the Undercity. Look, I'm sorry I didn't announce our other projects in my speech. Soon we can do everything. Soon? There are people who need our help now. Yeah, and he's not planning on being around for much longer. I've made a list of suspicious transactions. Yeah, Marcus isn't well, the one you <laughs> want to be going to. Second. Right. Damn, you Jace. Sure don't want to confer with the other counselors before. This corruption runs deep, Sheriff. I intend to root it out. Oh no! <laughs> Marcus is like, you can't find out. <laughs> Chief suspect is an undercity gang. They call them. Oh no! Yeah, he is definitely dying. I knew it. That's why he wants to hurry shit up. Um, you good, Victor? It's all about these rooms. They form the dolls and stuff? That's a little creepy, though. I don't like dolls. So the realm of EBGBs. And this turns it on. So, here goes. Let's see. Oh, PTSD? Yeah, she's remembering it. Ew. That's still got a scar years later, man. That's why she can't move on from them and she keeps them. Okay, I'm assuming this is Vi, but again, like... <laughs> I thought the last pink-haired girl might be Vi, too. Too risky. Yeah, she's definitely gotten older. Yeah, I forgot she's a flippin' gymnast. Slash parkour expert. I mean, <laughs> Kate's at least brave enough to, to be trying it. I would have been like, bye, Vi! The legends are true. Mages aren't bound to single functions. It's said that the arcane speaks through them. I'm still not following. They think. They adapt. It's alive. I think I can learn. Are you sure this is safe? Of course not. <laughs> I mean, let's see what happens. <laughs> merchant formerly enjoyed certain leniencies with regard to her trade in exchange for her generous academy patronage by leniencies you mean corruption mm, Amara's harmless oh look at those two stooges counselors Haskell and Sella don't they hate each other mm, but they share a taste for the fine and noxian spirits technically an illegal import I tighten our security and in so doing Put a target on your back. Yeah, you everybody's trying to do power over the wealth the hex gates afford, and would take any opportunity to seize it from you. You've just made yourself everyone's common enemy. Can't have do gooders in politics. Yeah, that stuff scarred her. Like, words can hurt. Problem is, like, that day, mistakes were made on both parts. Like, Vi was angry, and she went really hard on Powder. When at that moment, Powder wasn't in the mindset for that. And then it's like, once the understanding of that mistake that she made came in, it's like, that scarred her. She can't move on. But it's also making her hella angry. Well, that's my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a um, psychiatrist, so I don't know. Never wanted anything to do with politics. You push this on me. You're a symbol of the future now, Jace, whether you like it or not. But with why did she push it on you? Shape your own destiny. 
I'm trying to find this girl's end game. Like, she's got plans of her own, but what exactly are they? Councillor Talis is willing to reinstate former trade privileges to those who share his vision. Can we count you amongst them? Councillor Balbach seems to think other arrangements would be more profitable. <laughs> the man's a fool. With him, you'd be investing in the past. With us, you'd be investing in the future. You know, Councillor Madara's right. The Hex Gates are only the beginning. In fact, we're currently looking for new partners in our Hextech research. And as a supporter of House Talus, you'd be the first in line to any of our advancements. Hmm. Yep, that's how you get right into bed with the enemy. How can I say no to such an auspicious offer? Selling your soul, eh, Jace? What is truth but a survivor's story? If I'm discovered, we're both finished. Good thing you've located proof of the Firelight's involvement. Wow. Shift the blame. This has gone too far. Mm -hmm. Imagining yourself a hero. One too late for that. To make you the martyr you've always seen yourself as. <laughs> that didn't happen. Then what are you waiting for? Yeah, I knew for sure that wasn't that wasn't gonna happen. He's kind of a coward. And what's the point in just getting rid of Silco? We've got a whole establishment. You need to weaponize the hex tech soon. Is Jinx just always sitting up there? Sweetheart, it was real sad to hear about Vander. And the kids. Just terrible. By the looks of it, no one down here lifted a finger to stop Silco. A few tried. But Silco's got the muscle and the money. Mm -hmm. Go for the last drop. So, things have changed without Vander looking out for us. Have you heard anything about Powder? I think Silco has her. Mm. I have to find her. Yeah, she not who you remember. Silco's number two is irregular. I could have Miguel tell you where to find her. I owe you. It's nothing. <laughs> She's really, really good at her job. And by job, I mean job. <laughs> you did well today. I had a good teacher. It's only a matter of time before those old fools on the council officially accept your research. Why am I feeling like this is a thing? My father put hammers in the hands of the people and they built this magnificent city. Imagine the wonders they could create if we put the magic in their hands. Yeah, and the horrors. The, never be the, same. the Madadas usually only take from the world. We're not often in the position to give anything back. I knew it! I knew it! My girl had an angle. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay, Jace. And Victor's out here trying to communicate with the hex tech. That's beautiful. I can't figure out why it's not working. You will. Okay. Victor, you get some love over there too? Headed home soon. I thought we could walk together. Oh! And, uh, probably going to sleep here tonight. Yeah, he yeah. threatened not seeing you at all. You know, He's not tomorrow, seeing you. Right? Good night, Miss Young. I guess not everyone's getting love tonight. Yeah, Victor's desperate because he's dying. Jace was getting down and Victor was literally dying? Oh, okay. I'm up. Blood?
It's probably one of the first times I'm like, get the sex, <laughs> sexy people away because I'm trying to see what's going on in the background. Day, I let a weak man die. Huh? Yeah, Silco 100% saw himself. Yeah, he literally saw himself in her. Well, why does she have to kill Powder? There's nothing wrong with Powder, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoa! For a second, I thought he was gonna do something else. It was very unnerved. She is pissed. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, he left you, eh? I wonder if the hex text, the hex text, like, will save him. Hey! Bye. Whoa! Here we go. You filthy traitor! Vander had his chance. What? That arm is dangerous. I see you never learn patience. Ooh. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, without that arm, and she's still putting punches in with that arm. If she didn't have that arm, I think this would have been an easy fight. Shit. Ooh, that had to hurt. Ooh. Man or woman, that shit still hurts. What's going on with the footage? What's going on? Ooh, taking it to the streets. Where's my sister? Where's he keeping her? Oh shit, yeah, this is not gonna be good. You mean Jinx? She works for him. Yeah, that hurts in many different ways. I'll give her your regards. I was thinking maybe Kate. She is lucky that she has that arm. say thank you he's gonna know we're here now whose fault is that i mean she's not wrong <laughs> you need medical attention girl 
You're an all right shot. I'm an excellent shot. You gonna help me out, Cupcake? Stop calling me that. My name is Caitlin. Yeah, but you're so sweet. <laughs> like a cupcake. Uh, I'm loving this partnership right now. You're making a mess. <laughs> she was never dead. <laughs> I really enjoyed the partnership between Kate and Vi. Like they came from such different upbringings and so kind of having them team up together is very entertaining <laughs> just because like they just don't seem like they would work but they do in a weird way. Um, and I kind of look forward to seeing how that relationship develops um now that Vi kind of understands that Kate has a little bit more value to her <laughs> since she's a good shot um but I am a little worried about that Vi Jinx eventual first meet I don't know how that will go and just because I don't think Jinx will take it well just because I think she's going to be happy vibes alive but also angry based off of like you know how they ended things and i know vi probably feels really guilty about how she treated powder right before um she was taken away by marcus so i feel like there's gonna be a lot of anger and guilt in that reunion um jace is living the good life <laughs> victor is dying <laughs> And Victor's blood mixing in with the Hextech, I don't know exactly what happened there, but I feel like something happened and I'm sure it'll come up in future. Whether it's like a bit of Victor is in the Hextech, I don't know like how, but I know something happened there. <laughs> there was a, there was some kind of weird connection in some, with that blood, so... I'm sure that'll come up. Um, what else happens? I'm like, I there was like something that's on, like, it's in my brain. <laughs> I just can't think of it. Something, wasn't there something else? I can't remember. If there was something else, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it in the opening for episode six when I watch it, but. No, I enjoyed this. It's going to be extremely, I don't know like it just there's like this vibe underneath the surface that something is coming I don't know why but I just feel like something is coming like we're literally halfway into the first season and everyone seems to be like slowly building their own side and it just feels like war is coming um but I don't know we'll see <laughs> we'll see <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> this is going to be an entertaining last few episodes, I can tell. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the episode. I always enjoy the episodes. Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this reaction and you do want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I will see you for episode five. Wait, this is episode five. Episode six. <laughs>